All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel. And today we're gonna to be talking about Amaranth and her OnlyFans money because this is one of the most actually insane things I have seen when it comes to something like this. Like I think you guys will genuinely be mind blown. I mean, you, you think about how rich some of these people doing OnlyFans and these other things are, but then when you see these numbers, man, it just pales in comparison. It's just, it's honestly not even close, man. It just, th this is like NBA type money. I'm not even kidding when I say that this is like some professional athlete type money that some of these women on OnlyFans are making it's crazy bro I'm not gonna lie man I thought YouTube was like the legit hustle or whatever right like that was how you got into it and that's how you were making money online but dude when you look at the numbers we're about to take a look at here I am dead serious when I say you may consider creating an OnlyFans like at this point bro it, it, it's it's just target it and go for it and try to make the money while you can or it's just watching these other people make it like it's crazy to see the numbers that we're about to take a look at here so amaranth is probably one of the more popular people on the internet right now famous on twitch and of course over on OnlyFans and everything right like she's been known for the whole hot tub meta thing that she was doing also on twitch like that whole thing i don't know if you guys remember that everybody was talking about it a few months ago and it was like a big deal and everything people were either really supportive of it and thought that it was a great idea or they basically thought that it was like a waste of time and these people were taking it advantage of the platform and stuff like that but when you see these numbers man it honestly kind of it justifies a little bit some of that you know like in terms of the hot tub streams and stuff like I feel like if you were against that or you felt like they were in the wrong for doing that you really might change your opinion on this whole thing when you see this so Amaranth actually ended up tweeting out her whole earnings and everything pretty much for the whole year uh, at least from March onward of this year and all I'm gonna say man is Jesus so let's go ahead and take a look at at it. So Amaranth tweeted this out. It says, it's not about the money. It's about sending a message and it shows the OnlyFans earnings page or whatever uh, for the last few months. And these numbers are just ludicrous, man. So in March 20 of 22 alone, 1.4 million, 1.5 million for April, May, and June. And so far in July, which by the way, the month is like a third of the way over. We're talking almost $600,000, man, in just a couple of days for a total gross of over 33 and a half million dollars I don't know if you realize how actually bonkers this number is man but just to put this in comparison like I don't know what when did OnlyFans really blow up like 2020 2019 so if let's say she started in 2020 right she is now making like 15 16 million dollars a year or so off of OnlyFans alone. Keep in mind, Amaranth does like her own, she had merch. I think she was doing like the fart jars or whatever, like a bunch of other people were doing. She has her Twitch page and everything where I'm sure people love to tier three sub and donate to her. And she might be making money off like brand deals and all this other stuff, man. So I mean, Amaranth apparently is just like the Jeff Bezos of the internet now, but 33 and a half million dollars from OnlyFans. I really don't think people ever saw that coming. You know what I mean? Like I, when I, the whole OnlyFans wave started right and people were jumping on it left, right, and center, I legitimately would have never imagined that people would be on there making tens of millions of dollars like it was nothing. So I just want to do a little math here to figure it out because you know there's always this like burning question that people have of like oh what kind of simp would ever buy an OnlyFans? Who would ever pay $20 a month to see pictures of women on on the internet and you know what i've subscribed to this same mentality too because honestly ain't no way i'm ever buying an only fans like i just i don't know it's something about it dude it just it, you got the hub you know what i mean you don't really need only fans or anything like that but I want to just do some math and figure out like a rough ballpark estimate of how many people are actually subbed to Amaranth's OnlyFans so we can actually see what this is looking like. So apparently her membership is $6 per month. So I wanted to go ahead and take that number and divide it by the total amount of money that she made in the last month, which was June. And that roughly equates to about 267,000 people who are paying for Amaranth's OnlyFans. So just think, like, you, you would think that getting a quarter million free subscribers on YouTube to your YouTube channel would be, like, the goal, right? I mean, you could take that and make a living off of it, right? If you have a quarter million on YouTube, man, you can honestly make a really good living, right? Like, 
like you can make more than enough money to pay your bills, right? But if you have a quarter million paid subscribers on OnlyFans, we're talking yacht money. You know what I mean? We're talking about a level of money that I don't think any of us really truly understand. I mean, how, let's be real here. How many of us are ever going to make 33 million in our lifetimes alone? And when you consider that this is only one income source for Amaranth, like, that's nuts, man. She literally made 34 million damn near off of what you can consider a side hustle for taking, what, naked pictures? Uploading some videos to an OnlyFans account? Like, can you really blame these girls and even these guys who are getting involved in this? Can you really blame them for that? At a certain point, bro, like, this is the type of stuff that makes you consider it. Like, hey, should I really start the OnlyFans up? You know what I mean? Because it's like, in all reality, bro, if you can make this kind of money, and, and to be fair, not even close to everyone is making this amount of money but just seeing these numbers right it just blows your mind and just puts everything into a completely different perspective than you already had it at like you got to think what 95 percent of the population are, are going to a nine to five every day you know working at fucking subway making someone steak and cheese foot long do you want that toasted sir for like you know 15 dollars an hour or something like that and then you got women out here who just take pictures of themselves in the bathtub or something and make literally tens of millions of dollars like it's nothing it's crazy to think and like people get mad about it right people are like oh only fans is horrible if you do that like you have no self-respect but it's like in my opinion man chase that bag go get a check if everything is okay and everyone's cool with it, you know what I mean? If you're cool with doing it and, you know, you have no personal qualms or issues or hangups with it, chase that bag. Like, I cannot blame anybody for seeing these numbers and being like, yeah, I'm hopping on the OnlyFans wave. Shit, I might have to start up the OptiFans, you know what I'm saying? Like, these numbers are crazy. So, just think about it this way, right? Like, uh, let, let's take, like, the NFL, okay? Because it's one of the world's largest sports organizations. You see it on ESPN all the time, like, a player gets signed in free agency and it It'll be like a four-year, $33 million contract, right? Well, Amaranth is out earning NFL players by a significant portion, like players like that, because she did this in a couple of years. Like, she's really out here making 1.5 mil off a side hustle, right? And like I said, I'm pretty sure she sells, like, the scent jars and everything like a lot of these e-girls have done, and I'm pretty sure she also, besides Twitch streaming, she probably has other platforms that she uploads this stuff to. I know there's a couple more out there, right? And she has a link tree and everything with a bunch of different stuff in it. I don't know what half of it is because I don't use it, but this OnlyFans stuff is getting crazy lucrative, man. Like, I, I don't think people can really wrap their head around this. And I, I'm going to put this in perspective for the last time, right? I've been doing YouTube for 10 years. I've been doing it for five years now, almost professionally, aka making money off of it. And in all of my time of doing YouTube, I don't think I made more money than she made in like March of this year off OnlyFans. So in one month of her posting pictures of herself on this platform, she has earned more money than I have made off of YouTube probably in like five years of work as a pretty significantly sized content creator might I add I mean having a million subscribers is pretty rare on YouTube and even that isn't putting a dent in these earnings that she's pulling so honestly man I, I can't hate on these OnlyFans girls I can't hate on these people they are getting to the ultimate bag they are making crazy buku amounts of fucking money man and nothing can stop them that's what's most impressive like the grind for this really only stops when you choose to stop like she could, could legitimately do this for like another five to 10 years and probably make tens of millions more dollars than she's already made. I mean, she's already at a point where she's got generational wealth. You know, her kids' as kids could be okay. So I can't even really hate, man. I I'm genuinely impressed. Like, this is one time where I gotta give credit where credit's due. Like, this is fucking nuts. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel. Follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at sub to Optimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below, man. If y'all got that Amaranth OnlyFans money, I know you got that Optimus merch money man go down there take a look get yourself a shirt get yourself a hoodie get some shorts something man and with that being said i also want to thank my channel members for your support you guys have helped my channel tremendously and until my next video you guys this is optimus well literally mind blown over this only fans money man like i cannot stress it enough and signing out